fucked up YouTube, it's tiny. I uh, know I haven't made a video in a little while here, so I figured uh, on my way to the store and uh, I'd make one here and just kind of give you guys a heads up. Hopefully, it's going to be nice this week. It's supposed to rain again today. Um, the next nice day we have, motor's getting pulled out of the car. Doesn't matter what. Next nice day I have, I'm getting that motor pulled out. Um, man, uh, here in Pennsylvania, we've gone through quite a rainy spell. So, uh, I don't know why, but like I said, we have gone through a rainy spell. So, we're going to, uh, like I said, the next day I got it, as soon as I got some nice weather, uh, that motor's coming out. I only got like uh, three bolts in the bell housing. Or two of the bolts. Uh, one goes in. And the reason it's it's being to paint at the rear end is the one bolt it holds the bracket, the shifter cable bracket for the transmission and. Uh, it, it's real tight to the firewall, so I think I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is jack it up and get up underneath from underneath and get it off, and then uh, get to the. There's a bell housing bolt that faces from the engine side, in it threads into the bell housing. Um, that holds the other side of that bracket on. So, it's a little tricky, but once I get that off, it's a matter of taking a mount off and uh, the, uh, the engine will be out. So, uh, I'm going to, uh, the next day it's going to be nice out. That's what I'm going to be doing. So, but I know I've been saying, I'm going to show you guys, show you guys. I'm not, I mean it, I'm going to show you. And then uh, once I get it out, I'm going to make a separate video um, showing you how to put the crank in. Um, I got the crankshaft all ready to go. Uh, there's a deer. Uh, <laughs> I got the crankshaft all ready to go. I just got to get some assembly lube to put on the bearing journal, to put on the bearing so that way when I put them in, uh, it doesn't ruin a crank. And I got to talk to the machinist to find out how long I got to run the motor to break the crank in because uh, there's actually a procedure there's a certain way you have to do that. And uh, if you don't, you can actually wipe out the new bearings. So, uh, once I got it all back together and the engine back in the car and ready to go, ready to start up, um, oh dear. Uh, I'm going to call the machine shop and uh, I'm going to ask them. Uh, how to break the crank in. So, you know, once I get that done, the car will be ready to go. We'll be able to drive it around instead of driving this big truck. So, but just figure I'd give you guys a quick update and, uh, oh, and for you guys that don't know, just uh, FYI. Uh, the reason Eric the car guy hasn't made any videos lately is he's moving shops. So he is, uh, he's actually found a bigger place, which I think is going to be great. I hope at some point down the road he'll be able to get himself a lift to make his life a lot easier because Lord knows he has the uh, room for it in his new, the new shop that he's getting. It's huge compared to the old place. So, uh, good, uh, 
congratulations there. The car is on, moving up. You know, uh, I think it's a great thing that he's able to get a new place. And, uh, uh, who else do I want to mention this week? Oh, I just want to say hey to, uh, uh Brad Ass TV. Poor Brad lost his telephone and had to get a new one. Um, he apparently left it on top of his vehicle and drove down the road at 60 miles an hour and it went for a ride, so no more cell phone. <laughs> I wash mine, Brad drives his, or Brad puts his on top of the car and loses his, so, um, you know, uh, good luck sometimes, how, just the way it plays out, but, uh, anyway, um, I've had kind of a roller coaster week, myself, uh, last weekend I went to a wedding, it was awesome, um, and then this past weekend, I went to a funeral. So I go from being happy and excited for the person I got married to being upset because of who passed away. So it's been a rough week, and uh, it'll be better, though. So, um, like I said, I don't make this video too long. So, uh, Hey, we'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, please do that, uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, rate my video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. And, uh, and comment. You know, I always answer comments. And uh, you guys take it easy. And we'll see you in the next one.